ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى اله وسلم تسليما كثيرا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله ان بيد موست تروثفول اوف سبيتشز ذا بوك اوف الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم and the best guidance we have is the guidance of our beloved messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa sharrul umur muhdathatuha and the worst of affairs are those things we invent into this religion of ours wa kullu muhdathatin bid'ah everything we newly invent into this religion of ours is an innovation wa kullu bid'atin dhalalah and every innovation is misguidance and it leads astray wa kullu dhalalatin fil nar Every going astray, every misguidance is in the hellfire from Muhammad. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, now that Ramadan has passed and it has concluded, and we enter the next month of the 12 months that Allah gave us in the year, what will you do now after Ramadan? Allah he says, "Kuntum khayr ummatin ukhrijat lil nas, ta'muruna bil ma'roof wa tanhauna 'an munkar." وَتُؤْمِنُونَ بِاللَّهِ وَتُؤْمِنُونَ بِاللَّهِ Allah says what means you, you true believers in Tawheed, you true believers in the oneness of Allah with respect to His worship and His ibadah, you real followers of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and his sunnah, you are the best people that are raised up for mankind. Because you enjoin what is correct, what is good, what is pure from Tawheed to every good deed and action after it. And you forbid what is and munkar, what is haram and forbidden, <clears throat> shirk, kufr, polytheism, disbelief, all that Islam has uh, made haram, and you believe in Allah. The best nation raised up has to be one that doesn't just say, I believe, but they have istiqama, they have firmness upon what they were doing in that month of Ramadan, in order to be from that best nation. We must remind ourselves that this Qur'an, that we study so much and read so much during the month of Ramadan, that it's not a book just for one month out of the year. The Prophet ﷺ, he'll say, يوم القيامة, and we seek refuge with Allah from falling into this category or this group. وَقَالَ الرَّسُولُ يَا رَبِّ إِنَّ قَوْمِ اتَّخَذُوا هَذَا الْقُرْآنَ مَهْجُورًا And the Messenger of Allah ﷺ, he will say, Oh my Lord, my people have deserted this Qur'an. They didn't learn it, they didn't recite it, they didn't <clears throat> act upon it, and they didn't implement it. Ibad Allah, Ramadan came to us as a reminder to recharge our weak batteries, to give us life, or to save our lives, giving us a life vest, because we were drowning in this dunya. It was the month of Tawbah and Maghfirah, the month of the revelation of the Holy Qur'an. فُتِحَتْ أَبْوَابَ السَّمَاءُ أُغْرِقَتْ أَبْوَابُ الْجَهَنَّمُ وَصُرْسَلَتْ الشَّيَاطِينَ it was the month where the doors of heaven were wide open, the doors of Jahannam were closed. The devils, they were chained up, meaning they were weakened, they weren't gone. They were weakened during that time. But now that Ramadan has passed, uh, during that month the masajid were visited more frequently. You had double the people for Fajr and Dhuhr and Asr and Maghrib and Isha. Charity was given very Easily, people emulated the Prophet and wanted to implement his sunnah. Yet we ask now that all of this has finished and the month has passed, who is going to be foolish enough to undo the good that they did during that month? Allah says, <laughs> Allah 
Allah says, oh, means, And be not like her who undoes the thread which she has spun after it has become strong. Do not be like this. Someone who makes something so strong only then to make it something that is not good or beneficial for you. Who is foolish enough to spend time and energy and wealth building a building or a fortress only to when it's done, going and then demolishing it. Who is foolish enough to spend weeks, months knitting a blanket to keep you warm and protect you only to when you get to that last stitch, you just pull the string so that it all becomes undone. Who is foolish enough to build a home and then go light it on fire so that it has no avail to you? Who is foolish enough to plant a garden, water it, put resources in it, watch it grow, then watch it bear fruit, and then when that fruit comes, just go and plow it, plow it all down. So soon after the days of siyam, of fasting, and reading the Qur'an, increasing in ibadah, coming for night prayers till the feet hurt, that the shayateen may get released to their full strength. And here we go. The avowed enemy, al-adu al-mubin, shaytan and all his comrades, they get back, they get the people back into evil and sin and transgression. Shaykh Salih al-Fawzan, Habibullah, he said, Ayyuhal Muslimun, inna min alamati qabool al-shahr, qabool al-shahr Ramadan, an takoon hal al-Muslim, ba'dahu ahsan min halihi, halihi, qabl Ramadan. He said, O Muslims, it is from the signs of the acceptance of your fasting that your situation after Ramadan is better than it was before Ramadan. Because when you're doing good, it calls you to do more good. And righteous deeds and actions, they cause you to go and do more righteous deeds and actions. Ramadan, shahr. يُعَوِّدِ Muslim عَلَى فِعْنِ الْخَيْرِ And Ramadan is the month where it gets the person used to doing good deeds. وَيُرَبِّيهِ And it cultivates him على الطَّاعَةِ To do good, to do obedience, to obey Allah and His Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم. فَهُوَ بَعْدَ رَمَضَان يَسْتَمِرْ عَلَى طَاعَةِ الله. So that after Ramadan, he's firm upon what he was doing during, during the month of Ramadan. In the مَجَالِ الْعَمَلِ الصَّالِحِ مفتوح أناء الليل وأناء النهار في كل في كل السنة. He said, حبيبه الله, that during, عفوا, that the opportunities to do good deeds is always open. It's always there and available for you throughout all of the months of the years, throughout the night and throughout the day in every single month. فإن أرد فإن أردت القيام فقيام الليل مشروع في كل السنة. So if you want to do قيام الليل. Tahajjud, this is not just something in Ramadan in the last 10 nights, you can do it throughout the whole year. When aratta al-siyam, fa-siyam mashru'un, wa mustahabun fi sa'ri sana. If you want to fast, then fasting is mashru'. It is legislated in our deen for you to do, and it's loved to Allah. Because He said, al-siyam, inna hu li wa ana ajzibih. He said, fasting is for me, and I'll reward for it how much I want to. It's throughout the whole year, and Allah loves that deed. To do the six days of Shawwal, as we'll remind at the end for those who come late to benefit from it. To do Mondays and Thursdays. To do Ayyam al Bid, the three middle days of every Islamic month, the 13th, 14th, and 15th, and the likes of these. In Arat, in Aratta, Talawat al Quran, Fal Quran, Mayasirun, Fi Kulli Waqt. Qal Allah, Walaqad Yasarna al Quran al Dik, Fahal min Muddakir. If you want to recite the Qur'an, then reciting the Qur'an is written down for all times, not just in the month of Ramadan. And Allah has made it easy for the people to do so. When He said in Surah Al-Qamar, and we, we indeed have made the Qur'an easy to understand and to remember, <clears throat> then is there anyone that will remember or receive that admonition? My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, everything that was available in Ramadan is available for you in this month. So do not let a month of struggle and sacrifice from food, from drink, fatigue, tiredness, wealth, everything given in, do not let it go to waste and make it all actions that are rendered void because you return back to the lifestyle before Ramadan came. If you continue the struggle of Ramadan after Ramadan, then this is a sign of the acceptance of your fasting and the opposite is true. If you go right back into how you were before and it had no weight or no effect on you, then you must question whether Allah accepted your fasting or not. 
This fasting was not to slim down and get healthy, it was to achieve taqwa. كَمَا قَالَ اللَّهُ كُتِبَ عَلَيْكُمُ الصِّيَامُ كَمَا كُتِبَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ Fasting was prescribed on you, like it was prescribed on those before you, so that you may achieve this taqwa, to be pious, to be God-fearing, to be conscious of Allah with everything you say, everything you do, everything you think, so that you put between yourself and Allah's punishment a barrier. This was the purpose of the fasting. So the one who leaves Ramadan without any increase in taqwa, was your fasting accepted? Yet some just hours into the day of Eid, the night of Eid, the day of Eid, the day after Eid, they simply just go back so, and it, we'll see it more with time, as a week passes and a month passes, you'll find that all the worship and the self-control goes down the tubes. We forget Allah, we forget our deen, we forget the Qur'an, the final message, the words and the speech of our Creator, the notes from Allah to each and one of us personally. حَبْلَ اللَّهِ The rope of Allah نَمْدُدْ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ لَلْأَرْضِ I'll stretch from the heavens and the earth. Don't be like those other people who say, I need to see it to believe it. Grab onto the Qur'an, you're grabbing onto a rope Allah is extending to you from the heavens. So that you can save yourselves and your families. Ramadan's done, we forget the Prophet ﷺ. Ramadan's done, we forget the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. Ramadan's done, we forget our masajid, except for very few. Ramadan's done, we for, done, we forget our purpose in life. كَمَا قَالَ اللَّهُ وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسِ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ Allah says what well, means we did not create jinn or mankind except, well, and I did not create jinn or mankind, meaning Allah, except to worship me. This was the purpose of our creation. It wasn't for us to have a life here and then have a life in the next life. It was to worship Allah in this life, to be tested. To see who will be best in deed, who will struggle and be best in their deeds. At the beginning of Ramadan, we remind ourselves always to turn our lives around. Increase in worship, increase in ibadah, leave off sin, do good deeds, correctly practice tawheed, eliminate all shirk, establish your prayers on time, establish them in the masajid, pay your zakat and pay your sadaqat, fix your family ties, uphold modesty and manners, to live by the Qur'an and the sunnah. So is this too much to ask outside of Ramadan? Is what Allah asks of us too much? Because this is what we're saying. Okay, one month, I'm going to push myself. But other than that, come on. This is, in essence, what we're responding to Allah Azza wa When Ramadan passes and we slip back to those ways. Is it going to kill you or end your life? To read something from the Qur'an every day? To fast every once in a while? Even if it's not every other day or every Monday or Thursday? To give in charity outside of Ramadan? Is it going to hurt you? Is it going to kill you? Allah only prescribed things for us that are beneficial to our own selves. مَنْ عَمَلَ صَالِحًا فَلِنَفْسِهِ وَمَنْ أَسَاءَ فَعَلَيْهَا Whoever does good is for the benefit of his or her own soul. Whoever does evil, it's against his or her own soul. What Allah prescribed for us in Ramadan was for us to know that we can do it. We prove to Allah, I can leave my home and come to Isha. We prove to Allah, I can give and share even when I feel tight. We prove to Allah, I can fast the full day and stay away from food and drink and intimacy with my spouse and like that, for your sake. So we threw ourselves under a bus, proving to Allah we're capable of doing it. Allah would not put a burden on someone greater than they can bear. Do you love this dunya more than you love Jannah? Is this dunya the Jannah you want? Knowing that if you take it here, Jahannam, the hellfire might be about your abode in the next life. Life. Don't you want to hear, O the Khuluha bi salam, dalika yom al khulud? Don't you want to hear, enter into paradise, enter therein into peace and security? This is the day of everlasting life. Well, you'll never have to worry about being taken out of it. Eternity, infinity, forever. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, reflect. رب رمضان رب الشوال ورب ذي القعدة ورب ذي الحجة ورب محرم ورب سفر ورب رب ربيع الأول ورب الثاني and all of the months the Lord of Ramadan is the Lord of this month the Lord of last Jum'a in Ramadan is the Lord of this Jum'a in Shawwal the Lord of ذي القعدة and ذي الحجة and محرم and all of the months is the same Lord Allah عز وجل your Creator and my Creator your Lord and my Lord reflect and question yourselves 
هل الله عز وجل خصص التوبه في رمضان؟ وهل الله عز وجل خصص الصدقه في رمضان؟ وهل الله عز وجل خصص الصيام في رمضان فقط؟ Did Allah just specify you giving and charity in Ramadan, making tawbah, repentance in Ramadan, fasting only in Ramadan? No, He did not. Every day or every month is a time for tawbah sincerely to Allah Azza wa Jal. وَتُوبُوا لَلَّهِ جَمِيعًا أَيُّهَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ نَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ Allah says, what means, all of you collectively repent to Allah with a sincere repentance, O believers, so that Allah may make you successful. Every day is a month or a time for charity. لَن تَنَالُ الْبِرْحَ حَتَّى تُنْفِقُوا مِمَّا تُحِبُّونَ وَمَا تُنْفِقُوا مِنْ شَيْءٍ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ بِهِ عَلِيمٌ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says what means, by no means will you attain al-bir. Here it means Allah's paradise, His reward, His jannah, until you give from that which you love the most, and you spend it in Allah's cause, and whatever of you good you give, Allah knows it well. Did Allah say fi Ramadan? Did He specify this in Ramadan? From the signs of the acceptance of our fasting is that taqwa was achieved. And we follow up the good of Ramadan with good after Ramadan has ended. So the next 11 months, if we're blessed to see another Ramadan, we're living with Ramadan's effect and we're preparing for the next Ramadan as the Sahaba used to do. In the qalu rabbuna Allah thumma istaqamu fala khawfan alayhim wa lahum yahzanun. Allah says what means verily. Those who say our Lord is Allah. And Allah didn't stop here. To say Amen to Billah alone. Allah didn't stop here to say, Those who say, My Lord is Allah, thumma staqamu. And thereafter, they stood firm and straight on Tawheed by abstaining from all sins and evil deeds and doing good deeds and righteous deeds that would please their Lord. On them there shall be no fear nor shall they grieve. Allah did not say, You just have to believe. When the Prophet ﷺ, he was approached by a man to give me some advice. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قل آمنت بالله ثم استقم. He told him say I believe in Allah and have istiqama upon that belief. This istiqama is the actions of the limbs, the statement of the tongue, the belief in the heart. All of these three make up tawheed. Uh, عفوا, all these three make up iman and belief. That is true and correct. وإني لغفار لمن تاب وآمن وعمل صالحا ثم اهتدى. And Allah says what means, and verily I am indeed forgiving to the one who repents and believes in my oneness, does not associate partners and worship with me, and does righteous deeds, and remains constant in doing them till his death. Standing out firm was not a command just for Ramadan. Istiqamah was not just a command during the days of Ramadan and the nights of Ramadan, but for all times. Jum'ah ila Jum'ah, Friday to Friday, Ramadan ila Ramadan, Ramadan to Ramadan, every prayer, Salah ila Salah. Every prayer to every prayer, this is where the istiqamah comes forth. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, so why then when we, when Ramadan ends, do we stop these things and revert back to these ways which are not pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So ask yourselves, do you think one Ramadan is enough to save yourself and to get you into Jannah? Do you think one Ramadan makes an ummah? Are you satisfied being a Ramadan Muslim or a Jum'ah Muslim? Are you okay with the Qur'an only being read, lived? Acknowledged, implemented during the days and nights of Ramadan and not throughout the rest of the year. The final message for all of humanity. One of the beauties of this theme is that it is an everyday way of life. So how can we show up in Ramadan and not afterwards? Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu, attaqullah, wa al-tandur nafsum ma qaddamat li ghad, wa attaqullah, inna Allah khabirun bima ta'amaloon. Allah says what means, O you who believe, fear Allah and keep your duty to Allah. <clears throat> and let every person look to what he has sent forth for tomorrow. And fear Allah, verily Allah is all aware of what you do and has full knowledge of what you do. Allah must and deserves to be. He must be and He deserves to be remembered and acknowledged and to be the most important person, aspect, thing, whatever you want to refer to as, in your whole life. Your Lord and your Creator, that you love Him more than anyone and anything else. أقول قلي هذا واستغفر الله لكم والله يغفر لكم ذنوب Brothers, if you can move forward, بارك الله فيكم to allow those coming in to have a place to pray to ركعات ركعات and sit down. بارك الله فيكم. إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهديه ونصلي ونسلم 
على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا وبعد My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, we mentioned that the Sahaba had the effect of Ramadan for six months. It was like it was Ramadan for six months. And the next five, they were preparing for Ramadan. So they were upon that same wavelength, that same lifestyle, preparing for Ramadan. They didn't fast a whole month and then just return to evil. So there's two groups you can pick from. In Ramadan, those who strove and they exerted themselves with their energy and their wealth and their strength, trying to please Allah. <clears throat> reading the Qur'an, but as soon as Ramadan ends, they act as if Allah didn't exi- doesn't exist anymore. And then there's that other group, who has that same level of ibadah during Ramadan, praying to Allah, worshipping Allah, reading the Qur'an, standing at the night prayers, fasting, etc. But then when Ramadan leaves, they feel like their best friend left. They feel like what they had to protect them, that armor shield that would protect them from any harm left. This is how they looked at it. They were afraid, saddened, tested with the sweetness of faith, loving Allah and His Messenger Wasallam more than anyone and anything else. Afraid that Ramadan, the next year you won't get to see. Which group of people do you want to fall into? Obviously the second group is where we should all want to be. And it's not too late to still be in that group. Stay upon what you're upon in Ramadan. This shows that you want to please your Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, you can preserve Ramadan by being steadfast and correcting your heart so that you'll be safe yawm al-qiyamah. Yawm la yanfa'u ma'lun wa la'abinun illa man atawaha bi qalbin salim. The day where your wealth and your children will be, your families will be of no avail to you except to the one who comes to Allah with a pure and clean heart, free from shirk, free from nifaq, from hypocrisy. In Sahih Bukhari and Muslim, in the hadith of Nu'man ibn Nashir, رضي الله عنه he mentioned that the Prophet ﷺ, he said ألا إن وإن في الجسد مضغة in the body is a piece of flesh إذا صلح صلح الجسد كله if it is sound and good then the rest of the body is going to be good but if it is corrupt وإذا فسدت فسد الجسد كله but if it is corrupt then the rest of the body is going to be corrupt it's going to have problems it's going to have issues ألا وهي القلب this piece of flesh is the is the heart So my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, we can not only just show up in Ramadan, be true to yourselves and call yourselves to account, who gave charity since Ramadan ended, who fasted since Ramadan ended, who <clears throat> read the Qur'an and picked up the Mus'haf since Ramadan ended. You must constantly question yourselves with these things. Aisha radiallahu anha, Umm al-Mu'mineen, the mother of the believers, may Allah be pleased with her. She said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, أَكْلَثُوا مِنِ الْعَمَلِ ما تطيقون فإن الله لا يمل حتى تمل وإن أحب الأعمال إلى الله أدومها أدومه وإن قل. This hadith which is in this Sunnah of Abu Dawood and Shaykh Al Bani he authenticated it. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, choose the actions you're capable of performing. For Allah, He doesn't grow weary until you grow weary. Allah doesn't get tired of you doing your deeds until you give up on those deeds. The acts most pleasing to Allah, to Allah are those which are done continuously, even if they're little, never belittle the good deed. Continue to do them. Whenever he began an action, the Prophet ﷺ, he would do an action that he knows he would do continuously. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Tawheed is the key to the acceptance of our good deeds, and the key to, to, to earn Allah's mercy needed to go to Jannah. It is the rahmah of Allah, not your actions and deeds that will get you into Jannah. It is Allah's mercy that is needed for us to go to Jannah. So my brothers and sisters in Islam, don't be just the Ramadan worshiper, or the Ramadan giver in charity, or the Ramadan faster, but be the year-round Muslim, the year-round one who fears Allah and has istiqamah. مَنْ عَمَلَ صَالِحًا مِنْ ذَكَرِنَا وَأُنْتَ وَهُوَ مُؤْمِنٍ فَلَنُحْيَنَّهُ حَيَاةً طَيِّبًا وَلَنَجْزِيَنَّهُمْ أَجْرُهُمْ بِأَحْسَنِ مَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ Allah says what means whoever does righteous deeds, male or female, man or woman, while he or she is a true believer in Tawheed, in the oneness of Allah, in His worship, in truth, verily to him or her we will give a good life in this world. Contentment, respect, lawful, halal provisions, and we will pay them certainly in reward and purport, in, of reward in proportion to the best of what they used to do. Yeah, meaning with paradise, with Jannah in the hereafter. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, Shaykh Salih al-Fawzan, 
كذا لنا شهر رمضان يتبع بالشكر ويتبع بالاستغفار ويتبع بالفرح بفضل الله شيخ صالح الفوزان حفظه الله he said to fear Allah all the months and to guard your deen حافظوا على دينكم حافظوا على دينكم حافظوا على دينكم he said it with his voice shaking Concern for the Ummah, caring for the Ummah, guard your deen, guard your deen, guard your deen. At all times, not just in the month of Ramadan, don't be foolish, don't be blind, and don't be stupid. When you have the truth in front of you, and you see the plights of the people, and the effects of their actions and their deeds upon their lifestyle, and upon them even during their death and their burial, fear Allah and guard your deen throughout your life. Fairly, the month of Ramadan is followed by giving thanks to Allah that you were able to complete it. Asking for forgiveness even after Ramadan and being happy with the favors of Allah who has enabled us to fast and to pray for it. He also said, and we'll read the English because of the time, but it's, it's, it's needed, it's beneficial. Oh, you who during Ramadan, you, you have a Lord. Then have you forgotten Him after Ramadan? O oh, you who during Ramadan knew that Allah has obligated on you five daily prayers in the masjid. How do you not know or pretend not to know that that after Ramadan? That obligation stands after Ramadan. Who, O oh, you who during Ramadan knew that Allah has forbidden you for sins. How have you forgotten this after Ramadan? O oh, you who during Ramadan knew that in front of you is paradise and uh, uh, jannah and jahannam, paradise and the hellfire. And reward and punishment. How have you forgotten that after Ramadan? O oh, who, who used to fill the masajid during the month of Ramadan? And read the book of Allah during the month of Ramadan. How have you abandoned them? The masajid and the Quran after Ramadan. And we seek refuge of Allah from blindness after having sight. From misguidance after having misguidance. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam. Do not fall into the trap of shaitan. Hey, you did a good month, man. You got 11 months, you know, next Ramadan you can repent again. There's no guarantee. We have no guarantee to see another Ramadan, let alone another month, let alone another day. Ramadan was given to us for us to prove to ourselves, to show ourselves. Allah already knows what we're capable of and what we're not capable of. It's for us to show what we are capable of, to prove it to ourselves. So now there's no excuses outside of Ramadan to be firm upon that if we love Allah and His Messenger وسلم, more than anyone and anything else. وَهَذَا حَلَوَةَ iman. One of the signs of the sweetness of faith that you love Allah and His Messenger وسلم, more than anyone and anything else. For the benefit of us all to fast in this month specifically قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم مَنْ أَتْبَعَ رَمَضَانِ مَنْ صَامَ رَمَضَانِ ثُمَّ أَتْبَعَهُ سِتًّا شَوَّالِ the Prophet ﷺ said in the authentic hadith in Sahih Muslim, whoever fasts the month of Ramadan, if you miss some, you got to make them up first. Alright? Whoever completes the fast of Ramadan, if you have some to make up, you make those up and then you get into this, and then you follow it up with six days in Shawwal. They don't have to be in a row. They don't have to be these first six. Any six days, as long as it's the month of Shawwal, and we have not seen the crescent moon or the hilal for the paradigm. Whoever fasts six days in, Ra- in Shawwal after they finish the fast of Ramadan, then it will be written for them like they fasted the whole year. Here's Allah, even after Ramadan, ready to multiply your rewards. Who wants it? Who wants their scales of good deeds heavy? Who wants to not feel the fire of Jahannam when they cross the Sarat, the bridge over the hellfire? That every believer must pass to get to Jannah. Who wants to be admitted into Jannah? Not just the first level or the second or the third, but for, for those in the the highest of Jannah, the best of Jannah, your roof will be Arsh al-Rahman. Your roof is the throne of the Most Merciful. The opportunities Allah gave us not just in Ramadan, but throughout the year. Ramadan was that recharge, the proof that we could do it. May Allah make us of those who have istiqamah upon what they were upon in Ramadan, make us fill the masajid, like we did in Ramadan, make us fast for Allah like we did in Ramadan, make us pray to Allah like we did in Ramadan, make us come out for, uh, come, yeah, wake up for tahajjud and qiyam like we did in Ramadan. Constantly ask Allah for that istiqam. Allahumma khir al-Muslimin wa al-Muslimat, al-Mu'mineen wa al-Mu'minat, al-Ahiyyat wa al-Mu'minat, 
انك ان تسمع طيبا من تلك تجيب الدعوات يا مقلب القلوب ثبت قلوبا على دينك يا مقلب القلوب ثبت قلوبا على دينك يا مقلب القلوب ثبت قلوبا على دينك سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون وسلاما على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين